Hey guys, so it's been a while. Um, baby boy got here 11 days early back at the beginning of November, so I haven't really been too active doing anything. Uh, Christmas was great. Um, I kind of started trying to vlog and then I forgot because it was Christmas and I was busy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I want to start getting back into it. My husband bought me a new phone, so I have lots of memory space and a better camera. Because he's been trying to talk me into getting like a proper camera. He's like, it would be so much better if you do it on a laptop. I'm like, but I don't want a laptop or a camera. I don't want to take the film. I don't want to edit it. All in one place. I hate transferring data from like, the. So we talked about it. He got me a new phone. I'm all excited. Um, Today is actually the first day I'm going back to the shop. It's since baby boy got here. It's been almost two months. And I know there's treasures that I'm missing. So today is going to be half me looking for treasures, kind of. And projects that I can do, very small ones. And also going to just be seeing if I can help out around the shop, having fresh ideas and stuff after Christmas. So, yeah. I thought I'd bring you guys along and try out my new camera. I'm so excited. Okay, so change of plans for today. We never actually got over to the shop. We're gonna go Friday. Um, kid number one's gone to grandma's house for a sleepover. Kid number two is finally sleeping on his own. He slept by himself for 20 minutes today. That's it. So my husband's going to meet a friend to hang out for the night. I told him I totally don't mind as long as he picks me up some dinner. And he didn't feel like going through the drive through so he door dashed it. So it'll be here soon. So I think I'm going to try a new crochet thing that I've been wanting to try for a while. Yeah. But I think until the food gets here, he brought home a box of jewelry that they got from a clean out. So I think I'm going to look through that first. So this is what they found at the clean out. So... Essentially what they do is, if somebody just has a house or a garage or space or something that they just want cleaned out, they hire him to come in with some people and they just clean out everything. Usually they'll go through first and pull out anything they think is valuable, so any, you know, the nice jewelry or anything. But sometimes they miss stuff. And sometimes I just, I find cool things in here that I like. And Will lets me keep pretty much anything that I want that he comes across. But also, I really like doing the jewelry. I like looking through and I kind of have an eye for it and can show them which things are, might be worth something they may not have realized. Like these earrings, they don't look like much. They're nothing super fancy, but they are Sarah Coventry, which is kind of like Avon. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's kind of that idea. So those can be worth something sometimes. This is actually the stuff that he thought might be worth something. There's this, which I've never seen anything like that before. It's got a ring, so it can be a pendant or it has a pin back. That's cool. I don't think that's anything I would wear, though. This is a cool one we were looking at. little elephant it says Bangkok and on the side it says Thailand Thailand and which side is it this side he opens but just a little bit so we're not really sure what that's for it's very very heavy though it's actually a clip-on but I kind of like that one I thought I might keep that one maybe I'll still put a pin back on it or something a little kangaroo and a baby see I like wearing pins I have been told that it's a very old lady thing to do, but I like them. There's a couple of this type of stick pin. These ones, if you come across them, they're actually really nice for knit or crocheted shawls. Because they just, this piece pops off the end and it's a pin. And it's long enough that you could pin through both layers and hold it in place. keep that one now that I say that so this guy's pretty cool I'm not really into owls but a lot of this stuff is from Avon which isn't usually worth 
Ooh, this one's Coventry. Sarah Coventry. That one might be worth something. Because I think I've mentioned it before that he does reselling and stuff too. I think that might be my supper. Why is it the one time that Will's not here to answer the door for me? It's like a super awkward teenager bringing the food. So I finished kind of pawing through stuff. This is kind of pretty. There's this piece too. This is Avon. I kind of think I'm going to keep that. I kind of like how it's a big statement piece and it's like, I don't really like gold. Gold doesn't look very good on me, but I like silver. I might keep that one. I think that's probably it though. So this is something called filet crochet. I wanted to try to figure it out for a while. I mean, it doesn't look too complicated. And I did use a square pattern. This does have an extra stitch on each side, or extra square. But I definitely want it to be deeper, so I think I would need to add an extra one, an extra chain up each side. And I know this isn't usually done with this kind of yarn, but I saw a project that I really liked, so I want to make it work for this. So I think this is something you would definitely have to do a, um, swatch with, with whatever kind of yarn. I don't know. Maybe against my black sweater, you see the pattern a little better? A little better. Yeah, I think where the yarn is so thick, I needed to make it bigger to make the spaces stand out more. I'm gonna try it again.
we clear out our storage units. So we just got home. Um, I spent most of the day over at the shop today. I didn't really get a whole lot done. Just kind of re-familiarizing myself with it because it's been a couple months. And then we went for a dinner unplanned. It sounds like grandma's got the kids back now. So I'm gonna say good night and also happy new year. I hope this one is better for all of us. Bye guys.